up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Um, I've got my grandmother, I've got my aunt, and I've got my mom in town. And I'm going to use this beast, this beast right there, to scare the living bejesus out of my 85 year old grandmother. Let's go. You keep something clean, I see. Oh, I keep this thing <laughs> spick and span. So shiny. I need gas too. Do you mind if we get gas quickly? No. But don't you have, Super. what time are your lessons at? I have I to leave. In the morning. At, at 8.15 is when I have to leave, so we have to go fairly quick. So, this car, the cool thing about this car is it can be really docile. Like if you look at my, my um, readings right now, it's saying blue. So it's like trying to warm up. It's telling me I need gas, but it's also, so I'm really low on gas, but it's also telling me my engine temperature and my oil temperature are really cold right now. So I just take it easy to start. The cool thing about this car is that it has a bunch of modes, right? So my suspension is here. Um, I can drive it in manual. Suspension is there. And I can, I can really mess around with a lot of things. If you can hear, watch this. I have modes like that too, sport, EV. Yeah. Yeah, which is cool, right? So, but listen to this. When I go into Sport Plus, listen to the engine. Watch, listen. Can you hear the difference? So yeah. that's quiet. It's next to purr. Yeah, and so this has an, another mode called race mode as well. Oh, I don't have that one. Get all, get all <laughs> crazy with it. Uh, so we'll just we'll just cruise to the grocery store really easy. Yeah, that's a real blind spot. I know, I know. I, I deal with this every there. day. I deal with it every single day. Every single day. I'm aware of it. You yeah. can't see coming out at all. Yeah, I have to deal with it every single day. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, so we come out here and we turn. Which way for the? If you were going to the, if you were going to, um, if you were going to King of Prussia Mall, you go that way. All the way to the very end, right? Yeah. And what did you say the street was? McClellan or something? Like that? Uh, East of Kalb oh, Markley. is what I, East of Kalb is what I thought it was. Oh, this is no, Markley. It's Markley. Yeah, yeah. So is the mall on Markley? But it, it changes as you go more down. It turns into like a highway kind of thing. So. And I just keep straight on it. Yeah, to press the mall. Going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. I can't really. Um, I gotta wait till I gotta wait till it cools down before I can actually like kind of show you the car, the sound of the car a little bit. Right now I have to drive it like a little bit more. I have to drive it docile. Nice moonbeam. Yeah. yeah, this I'm telling you, this thing has it has everything. It's like the great I think it's the greatest possible car. It has luxury, but it has performance, it's stylish. The only thing that's not good about it, and I don't mind, is that it's it's a two-door. So practicality is a little kind of out the window. Can you fit three people back there? We could probably get <laughs> I could probably get to Carlene and, and No, but uh, you have three seatbelts back there. Yeah, there are two more seatbelts back there, of course. Yeah, they just no, don't I, get used. Oh, There's two more seatbelts yeah, back yeah, there. Yeah. We would just have to be up a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I try to be really mindful. Like it's this has got a like a track version or track sort of setting to it. So it tells you everything. It tells you your tire pressure here. I don't know if you can see all that. Yeah. And so I try to be mindful of it until this goes white it's telling you that the car is not ready to be driven hard so i mean it's exciting to get out into the car and want to go right away but you have to be respectful for it. i think that you'll get more out of the engine long term if you if you warm it up nicely yep. um, but i'm telling you like right now we're driving it in like like old man mode i never drive mine in sport mode because they said it's hard on gas yeah. This, so it, I don't this, drive it in that. The, the mode we're going to drive it in when we're going home, when we're coming back, is really, really hard on gas. Race mode. And then I can take it to the another level. I can push this and, and it's on paddles. So see these paddle shifters? Yeah. And so I can rev it way out. I can make it I can make it gargle and everything. Like you'll, you'll see, it's a, it's a different car. Wow. It's so much fun. Right now, this is, then again, this is why it's kind of cool. It's like, it's just a regular Mercedes Benz, Beautiful. right? Beautiful, it's so comfortable. I, I go into the club and it's just like, okay, yeah, there's, there's a Mercedes there, Mercedes here, it's quiet. I can open the valves or shut the valves. The valves are closed right now, the exhaust. So it's, it's very calm, it's like inconspicuous, but then you can just really open her up and get, get crazy with it. 
it's times like this in the morning when it's nice out where you just go for a little drive. There's a lot of cars on the road now, but when there's no cars, you can really give her. This car has 500 horsepower. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's get a lot of tickets. Yeah. Oh, I haven't got any tickets here. Cops are weird when they see, I think when they see exotic sports cars, this isn't exotic, but when they see like a higher end sports car, I don't think they're, oh, I don't think that they're as inclined to pull you over as if you're in like a, com oh, we'll let him stink his way up there. <laughs> um, I don't think they're as inclined to pull you over as if you're in like a Camaro or a Mustang or some like, you know, young punk, like stupid car, you know what I mean? Um, Cause I don't, I don't get pulled over that often. My job, I tell everyone, I'm like, I'm glad I bought this car at 37 and not, you know, 22. Because I'm like, respectful of the car, you know. I drive it hard, I do, but in, in the right sort of, the right time, you know. Right? These challenges are always like... This this car is, a, it's a bit of a flex to other cars. Like, it's always, anytime a fast car gets near you, he wants to race you. He's like, oh, you know, you're... you're and so it's a bit of a, a temptation all the time, but... So fun. Don't race. That's a big ticket in our country. I mean, when you're in a 500 horsepower car in the streets like this, like what what kind of race are you having? There's no race, really. Like I can be I could be at five sets of lights from from now in like a blink of an eye. So it's just it's just a way to lose your license. It's just stupid, right? The only time to race these cars is when you're on the freeway or something like that. When you're on the highway and you have a big stretch of road. The other thing is that I'm so careful with this car too, like. I don't want to scuff the rims. I don't want anyone to nick my door. I know you. I'd be parking at the very end yeah, of the. I, I normally do. When I come here, I park way at the back. There's not a lot of people here right now, so we're okay. Yeah, it's the best place to get dinged in the yeah. grocery store. Yeah, for sure. Weiss. Yeah, Weiss Grocery. I'm just gonna park here because in the next, like, even in the next ten minutes, a lot of people will probably turn up to this place. So it only just now started warming up the car. So we'll be good on the way back. It's not gonna rain, right, while we're in there? No. Well, tell me what you think of this this um, cologne. Love it. You like it? I do. A little overbearing. Just don't put I'm too much on. I'm yeah, I'm experimenting with with different colognes. Don't put too much on. Expensive cologne doesn't need that much. Did you fix Carlene's car? Yeah, I cleaned Carlene's car really nicely. Yeah, uh, the the scratches and everything, I got it to half of what it was. There's a lot of the scratches. A lot uh -huh. of them are in the actual paint. Oh, I so see. So I could only get what was out of the clear coat, what was in the clear coat, and that uh -huh. wasn't the majority of it was in the paint. So it looks better, but it's not perfect. It's I don't not think it can be perfect. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna go for a little drive in uh, my new car, and I'll try not to kill us. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Perfect day for a drive. Do you like speed, Graham? No. <laughs> I don't like speed, okay. Oh, and I don't like too much air in my hair. Okay, well just for, just for 10 minutes. I did, I forgot the camera was on. And I was digging my nose as I came in the car. That's okay. <laughs> it's all for production value. Dig your nose as much as you need to. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. We're going to capture everything. Some of the stuff that I've done on camera, my goodness, and I go back in the editing booth and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> or if my skin isn't looking good or something like that, it's totally fine. You should have warned. Give me enough warning. I would have made a, put on some makeup. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to find some good roads and we're going to, we're going to win. Can I turn up this window? Oh, you don't. Can you leave it down just for a bit? Yeah. And just yeah, tell me, tell me what you're thinking as I drive. This is so it's this is a different car than most cars. It's got a bigger engine. It's got a uh, more cylinders. It's an eight cylinder. Uh -huh. So if you can hear that grunt, can you hear that grunt there? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Got 500 horsepower. So if Carlene's has like 250, 275, this is double the horsepower uh, and like half the weight of the car. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, 
so it goes pretty fast. It goes pretty fast. Um, yeah, it's a fun car. It's been a really, really fun. Yeah, enjoy um, that. But what's cool about it is it's not just your typical sports car that goes fast. What else is cool about it is that if you look around the interior, yeah. it's the Mercedes first and foremost, right? Look, look at how gorgeous it is. Like the, the fit and finish here, all mm -hmm. the nice chrome bits. Yeah. It's it's still got that luxurious sort of feel. Yeah. But then when you put your foot in it, it's it's insanely fast as well, right? <laughs> Which is kind of like, you know, what you're what you're looking for. It's like the, the perfect Can you tool. speed without the noise? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah. So if I turn the noise off, that's 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 the engine off. It's still going to give you some. So can you hear that? Yeah, it's different. It's different, but then if I turn, can you hear the difference? Listen. That's off. Off. Yeah. That's off. Hear the difference? It's quite it's quite different. I don't know if you can hear it. And then we can get it to crackle and pop too. We can be really obnoxious. Let's try and get it to pop here. Like watch this. Personality of this car. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part about it. Like, so you don't really have to be going fast because it's a big eight-cylinder and it has that that deep grunt. Yeah. You don't have to be speeding. You're always you always have that nice deep sort Why of gargle. Why do they put that grunt? Just for it's a young sports car. people who like the. It's it's a sports car, so it's got it's it just got power. It's just power. It's the sound of like deep, deep sort of power. It's it's eight cylinders working instead of, you know, Carleen's or my mom's. It's a four cylinder. It's a smaller engine. Uh -huh. Bigger engine means you know more more things happening underneath to propel you forward, right? Yeah. And this obviously has more than just a big engine. It has suspension, you know, fine fine tuning. It's it's got a limited uh, slip differential, so. If you take a turn really hard and the back starts to get away from you, it's got a computer that literally manages your back end oh. and watches it and keeps you safe oh. to some degree. To some you, degree. You can be a hoodlum and, and you know, no matter what, the, the, you can still put this thing around a tree if you wanted to. But yeah. if I get a little too crazy in a turn like this, you can feel the, the car kind of working and helping you. And there's there's a lot of like safety systems. Like if oh, I have, a, I'm looking at a heads up display right here. You can't yeah. see it, but it's it's a it's, it's a readout, like a digital readout of mm -hmm. my my speed, the speed limit. As soon as I go over the speed limit, it starts to flash. Uh -huh. If my car st starts to lose, if my tires start to lose traction, uh -huh. it, it flickers a little bit to tell you, listen, like you're you're losing control of your car. Slow it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. If I take a lane and then I, I've come too close to a car when I'm taking it, it beeps a little bit. Yeah. If someone turns in front of me, it cuts power and tightens our seatbelts. Like this wow. thing is, it's crazy. It's very, wow. very. It's it's got a lot of safety measures. So if it were about to be in a crash, it'll it would it would I wouldn't get be able to get into a crash in this car without them without this car knowing and cutting power and pulling me like this. Then we would hit. Oh, if I couldn't get her away, bags would come out. Airbags right? would come out and everything. So it it's got sensors all around it that mm. are that are feeling things like all from here to that car, if not farther. From here to probably not as far as the light but from here to two cars ahead of us kind of all around it's feeling you so if there's a car there behind us or there you get these little the mirrors are telling you that's obvious mm -hmm. that's that's normal it's common practice in cars but mm -hmm. you get sensors on the front you get them on the back it's 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 just a, it's a good car it's, it's, so it's not easy to really have an accident it's it, I want to say it's it's difficult but when you have Unless this much power reckless. when you have this much power and you put your foot down and in, in an instance you're over the speed limit uh -huh. You can get into trouble pretty quickly, right? This is why you know the you know a 20 year old guy or 18 year old guy shouldn't be driving this kind of car, right? Like, watch, we're doing nothing right now, and then all of a sudden, feel those tires? Do you feel it trying to get traction? Do you hear the squeal? Did you hear the squeal of the tires? That's the that's the, the there's too much power for the traction of the tires, so the tires can't get going. They're just squeal. They're just spinning, spinning, spinning before they start to grip. Is that bad for the tires? Oh, it's very bad for the tires. Yeah, so yeah. And the only you... reason, the only way they'll start to heat up and grip is when they start to warm up a little bit. They're just cold right now. Oh, I see. So once they start to warm up, then mm -hmm. then it'll really grip and, and go. Yeah. Okay, nice. Let's just go around here right now. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that, but let's just Red go. Light. Sorry, mm -hmm. but we're gonna get stopped here anyways. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to take you on like some like. Um, some bigger roads but 
What do you think? <laughs> it has a lot of power. So, I can so, hear so it. So, what, what are you driving? You're driving a Acura T TLX? RDX? No, I... ILX. ILX. I, ILX. Those are nice. Yeah. Those are probably, what, 250, uh, 270 horsepower? I, I wouldn't know, know that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say, I don't know. <laughs> ILX. But that's a nice looking car. That's a really nice looking it is. car. It's, uh, is it Japanese? Yes. Yeah, right. it's a, a family of Honda. Yeah, they make good cars. Yeah. We'll go this way. But again, that like that deep engine sound, like it just lets you know everyone's there, right? Yeah, yeah. it's really. So the history of this car, this is a German muscle car, right? It's, uh -huh. it's Mercedes-Benz um, special performance line called yeah. AMG. And this this car was developed in Elfalderbach, uh, Germany. By well, one, it was developing, of course. Germany. By by one man. So they they have a theme. They have a, a you know a, a model that they live by. AMG. It's one man, one engine. So instead of developing this car on a production line where they're they're spitting off like a hundred a day, uh -huh. there's one guy Working. who starts the engine from from its infancy yeah. and brings it all the way until they I forget what it's called the harmonizing of the engine to the the chassis. He does everything. He does he babies the whole thing. And puts it all together so it's it's just it's called hand built it's a, it's it's just done a little bit better and then he stamps his name on the on the engine up front so oh. my guy is Omar Ozbeck he's my technician and uh, yeah he's he's babied the engine from day one and that's and that's why it's so fierce like this yeah. that's why it's a you know work of art so I've always wanted this car from from when I was a kid and obviously the, the, the car has changed a lot over the years yeah. They've changed the look of it a little bit. They've changed the displacement of the engine, um, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted this like this car for the like the, just the deep like muscly like girthy sound, the strong. So you sound knew about it. this car a long time. I've known about it for years. Was this years. car in existence? I mean, this particular. Well, well it, again, it was the same car, mm -hmm. but a huh? different variation of it. So now it's a twin turbo. This means nothing to you, but it's a twin turbo V8. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was a twin turbo naturally aspirated car so there were no turbos on it um, and it was just a different car yeah. and it, it wasn't it wasn't as refined as it is now this is the most refined they've ever made what a c63 is this, one? this is 2019 okay. um, but this is this is the the evolution of the car after 10 years of me wanting it you know and so it's a much better car it looks better it's yeah. faster it's better on gas if you can believe that yeah um, it's just an it's just an amazing car, as we say that a Lamborghini. So this was Huracan always your back. dream. To it's own. always been my dream car, and a lot of people will probably see it say in the comments of my channel, you know, this is your dream car. Your dream car should be, you know, you know, a three hundred thousand dollar Ferrari or a Lamborghini. But like, this kind of does it for me, and I, I explain the reason why. Right? It's mm -hmm. it's got power, it's got styling, and it's got luxury. It's you know, right. and it's got safety measures as well. It's like right. what what else do you really need? I would have this as my play car and then, you know, a nice SUV like like Carlene to, to ship around my kids and stuff like that. Like watch yeah. when we get around this corner. Like this thing has no no problem in traffic. When we want to go in front of people, we just we just well there's obviously traffic, but it's just wherever you want to go. It's the it's, there's really nothing faster in that yeah. unless you're unless you're coming up against the Porsche 911s and like the real supercars. This yeah. This is you know, probably top five percentile as 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 to what's fastest on the road. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm just trying to find some straightaways and just blast a little bit, but be sensitive to um, the coppers. <laughs> trying to get some pops. As we pass, we're passing a Tesla right now. Give him a couple pops. Oh, he's not gonna look at us. <laughs> That little brrr. The brakes are good, huh? The brakes are amazing. Wow. As good as the power is on this car, the yeah. brakes have to be as good. You can't have 500 Porsche. Yeah, it's their new Porsche supercar. Yeah. Wow. That's their Porsche, their all electric car. Yeah. It's called the Taycan. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Wow, that's a new car. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new car. It's all electric, yeah. but it's really, really well designed. It's a cool looking car. Yeah, really cool looking. But I'm not really an electric 
sort of type guy yet. I'm not really, I'm not sold on that yet. I still want that big V8. I want that, that girthy sound. I want to feel the, the, the gears adjusting, you know. The I want electric to, is too quiet for you. It's too quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't evoke any emotion out of me. You know, when I put my foot down, it's just like, that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, whereas this, can you see the difference? When I, when yeah. I put my foot down, it's like, pop. <laughs> You know, it's, just it's like when I was living on Cartwright Road in Guelph. Yeah. I could be in my bedroom and I hear, you know, those crazy guys going down the hill. The traffic light is just a, a few feet away, but they're coming. Yeah, and I'm it thinking, up. what the heck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a time and place. Like you got to be sensible with it, right? And then this is another reason I love this car. I'm I'm driving it in hoodlum mode right now. It's got race. It's called what's it's called what it's. I'm driving it in what's called race mode right now. Just crazy, bonkers, all out. Unleash as much horsepower as possible. But one flick of a switch, uh -huh. can you hear everything quieting down? Why I have stop start here as well. I could literally the engine will turn off when we're at the light. Uh -huh. It's composed. All the flaps for the exhaust are off. And it's just a normal Mercedes. So in just a, a and second. It's just a, and it's just a luxury car, mm -hmm. right? I'm off the manual transmission now, so I'm not doing. I'm not using my paddles or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. all like very sophisticated. Oh. Um, or I could go back in the blink of an eye. Oh shit! This is not good. This is not good. Actually going back out there. There's no way out. Circle around here. I think we can go all the way around. Yeah. But I'm kind of going the wrong way here. If anyone comes, they're not gonna be pleased. Give it one last little go. You can tell me what you think. Are you impressed, Graham? Yeah, or very. I've something? always liked Mercedes. That's yeah. all Herb used to So tell like. us, yeah, tell us the story. Your ex-husband was both. a Mercedes. I had yeah. one and he had oh, one. Oh, you did? Really? Oh, shit. We're going to yeah. freaking scrape here again. Oh, we are no. going to scrape here again. Careful. Careful, careful. careful. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah. What do you scrape in the fender? It's just the front little lip, but it's oh, no. it's a cheap it's a cheap piece. It's a it's a plastic piece. <laughs> yeah, I had my Mercedes. He had his. But they were those ancient big square Mercedes. You know the big square Mercedes. <laughs> so fast that's yeah. what I love about it and it's not hard on the brakes well yeah it is a little bit hard on the brakes but it's uh -huh. it stops really really fast yeah. I mean obviously getting into the brakes using the brakes is gonna it's gonna wear them but right that's what that's you have to be careful that's what the point of it is wearing down the brakes <laughs> <laughs> but you're tempted all the time huh? I'm tempted just because yeah it's a sports car here we go ready like to go around this guy but I don't want to be unsafe. <laughs> this guy's gonna slow us down. Okay, we'll go around him. Try and drive a little crazy for you. Okay Graham, here we go.
brakes. Yeah. It's yeah, comes brakes right really down to it. I feel sorry for those brakes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But if you saw the size of the brakes underneath there, they're huge. Yeah. Okay, here's a full It'd take full a while to wear them. This is race start. do a race start with you launch control so launch control the way it works uh -huh. is you get to a full stop and yeah. you put your foot on the brake full brake uh -huh. you take your other foot and you put it full gas and you'll see my revs go all the way up and it starts the whole dash will start going red bang 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 and I let my foot off the brake and we just go as fast as we can possibly go oh so I'm just God. gonna find a little strip here that when it's safe so you do braking it. at one time full brake so I can't move uh -huh. full acceleration uh -huh. so the revs go up and it wants to go but the brake is holding it uh -huh. i let the brake off and now my revs are already up so uh -huh. instead of starting from zero my revs are way up uh -huh. and then it bang it propels you oh so we'll try it's called race start let's try and we've got to find a little spot but isn't this that hard on the engine? it's a little bit hard i don't do it that often but this car is is built to do stuff like this right uh -huh. so i'm going to try and do it right here in a second okay you ready cool thing about this car is that it's it's race inspired right so it, it has a lot of track sort of oriented features uh -huh. so right here you can see my engine temperature my oil temperature I can see all four I don't know if you can can you see that I can see all four of my tires I can I can see the pressure of them I can see how hot if any of them are getting too hot uh -huh. I can make I can manage that I can watch it so it, it really kind of looks out for you and it really like it it, 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 it has features where if you're on track ripping around yeah you could see everything that's happening right you could you could there's features where you can go in here you can see your your how how heavy your foot is going on the gas pedal how much uh -huh. torque how much horsepower you're using yeah. it's really again it has the, the the very docile mercedes benz side and then it's got its crazy track amg side as well with the with the flick of a switch boom we're in crazy yeah. so that's what i love about it yeah amazing I'm trying to do one or more of those race starts, but I want you to look over here when we do it. Okay. We'll probably do it right here, actually. Well, how much is it supposed I'll to go up to? I'll do it for these guys if, the, if these guys are having their goal. Okay, ready? So here we go. I'm on the brake. Watch. Yeah. Just watch this. Watch. Watch. Okay. Watch. Oh, it looks like fire. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? 56, 59? Yeah, do you see that? And so we're launching better now because the wheels are starting to get uh, warm. That's hard. It is hard in the engine. I've never done two in a row, actually. But it's, yeah. I can tell it's already starting to grip better. Oh. Do you know what I mean? And is it telling you there that the tires are getting warm? No, nope, no, nope, they haven't done Not anything yet. yet. Nothing crazy, no. Oh, no, again, okay. it's a track car, so it's meant to be able to take a certain amount of, 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 yeah. of hardship. You know what I mean? Yeah. This car can be so dangerous if you don't know what you're doing in it. Even yeah. I'm like, I'm respectful of it. It has a 10 stage traction control. Yeah. So remember I told you it has like certain aids that help you, like that keep you safe. It has the ability to turn all those off. And I don't touch that. I leave that, I leave that on. It has a 10 stage, so you can tweak it. You can go a little off, lot off, all the way off. Uh -huh. You can mess with it. And I just, I just keep it on. It's like, there's no real point. If I'm at the track and I want my butt to be able to get out like this, then maybe, but. Should we do another letter, another race start? Ready? Here we go. <laughs> that was a good one. Is that a good one? That was a good one. Holy, oh the person God. behind us was like, what the hell? 
That was insane. That was really squealing. Oh, I feel sorry for those tires. That was amazing, man. You've oh been eating tires before long. I know. They're like 1500 bucks a pot. Oh my gosh. Crazy. And you How don't fun care. was that? How you fun. don't care as long as you get the fun I feeling. Do, I do care. I just I want to have fun with it. I want you to have fun with it. I want my viewers on the channel to enjoy it. That's amazing. That's so fun for me. Launch control with my Grammy. Alright, hit like and subscribe if you already haven't. I'm <laughs> just praying to get home in one piece. <laughs> Where you haven't lost your lunch. Oh my gosh. Can you swerve here? No, I don't want to be too crazy. I just go fast on the straightaway. foot down a little bit and there was some some like some oxygen trying sparks. to get out of the yeah not not sparks just like it like I, I, don't, I don't really know what exactly what it is I think it's oxygen it's just like compressed air trying to get out yeah. and that's what creates that plum BMW does it like crazy at all rpms my car you have to really work hard to get it to pop 